Ladies and gentlemen, welcome everyone. I am Dr. Roland A. Drolet, PhD in Biomedical Engineering from the University of Toronto, 1971. I am the developer and inventor of the Rumart PEM system that has helped over one million people all over the world who were suffering from all kinds of health problems. My daughter Joseanne, part of the team since she was born. I'm not going to go into details of this, but this is what I talk about when I talk about uh, the uh, electron going around the uh, proton. You have uh, calculation of what we call ionization of the hydrogen atom simply by uh, calculating the energy uh, uh, necessary so that the speed would get the escape velocity. So this again it's classical mechanic applied to quantum system. Okay, okay this is a classical and quantum resonance using magnetic resonance imaging, and there is a, uh, uh, something interesting uh, realized that uh, when people are being diagnosed with these magnetic resonance imaging using magnetic field uh, perpendicular to a radio wave, for instance, uh, they realize to diagnose cancer and this type of thing, uh, they were, a patient said that they felt good when they had that. So the people in Boston said, well, maybe one day, and at the MIT, they said one day maybe we'll develop a therapy based on this. Well, this is something that we have for 35 years before then, which is called Rumar. Okay, so anyway, here there are uh, different type of uh, ion cyclotron resonance nuclear atomic spin resonance, different methods that are used for imaging, in, like in Boston. Frequency measurement uh, here, uh, this, this is the thing that is measured most precisely from uh, quantum um, theory and measurement, the frequency of each atom, a wavelength of 31 centimeter, is measured uh, with an accuracy of 11 significative number about. Look at this. Uh, 10 to minus 11 uh, hertz. Oh, plus or minus 10 minus 11 hertz. Okay, so this great preci precision is much higher than the theoretical precision. So that's interesting. Just a couple more pages. Uh, Ion cyclotron resonance, this is just giving a simple equation, classical change of frequency when an atom is in a magnetic field, okay? So I won't go into all details of that, but this is classical um, theory of uh, effect of magnetic field on atom, but this is more interesting, this is nuclear, atomic, and spin resonance. Uh, with MRI imaging in USA and application to rheumatic therapy. Contrary to uh, classical theory, we have this equation. This is the angular frequency. This time here, G is what is called the Lang Lange uh, parameter uh, with electric charge, the mass, and magnetic field. So anyway, the J factor of quantum mechanics, and um, I gave a Segre as a reference in nuclear and particles book, so I gave the different value for the parameter. But this um, uh, giving uh, these concept, we uh, showed that um, from what they, uh, they realized in Boston and uh, uh, magnetic resonance imaging and the quantum theory, we realize that there is a magnetic resonance at about plus or minus 
for Gauss when we use Rumart. So that means exactly in the range where we have most physiological effect. So somehow I showed you a few of these things to show you that even quantum mechanics can explain why this type of uh, uh, amplitude of uh, uh, electromagnetic or physiological signal gave the result they gave. And it, we are in resonance there on top of being in resonance with the synapse of the nervous system. We have a basic magnetic resonance at plus minus four gauss, which is about uh, one third of the amplitude maximum when we use uh, the uh, maxi rings. So this is about 12 divided by uh, three is about amplitude four three. So that's fascinating. So um, this is about it. Thank you very much. Thank you. And I wish that uh, you enjoyed it. And uh, it was a little fast, but it was not faster than you because you are real fast. Okay, thank you very much. So that's the end of this clip. Thank you for your attention. I hope you enjoyed it. And please keep smiling till the next clip.